Hello everyone, welcome to my young and the restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and restless, now that Claire's recuperation has reached a crossroads, there is a secret that could reverse her rehabilitation and completely upend Victoria's life in the process. When we last saw Claire, she was sprawled out in the fetal position on her bed in Memorial Hospital's mental health unit in Geno City following a disturbing call from Jordan, who was incarcerated in Oregon. As you may remember, Claire told her aunt that she wanted her dead. At Newman, across town, Nikki was reporting to Nick, Victoria, and Victor that she had visited Claire, and despite her ignorance of the call from Jordan that transpired after her departure, had given a positive report. She clarified that Claire was trying to fill a void in her heart by going to the children's hospital to observe the interactions between the families. These instincts seem to be spot on, in my opinion. We need to have faith in her ability to arrive. Unfortunately, Claire seemed to regress after receiving the call from Jordan, and the Newmans were unaware of this. What happens next could potentially dictate how far Claire can heal. We saw in the trailer for next week that Victor is going to give the Newmans some disturbing news. In particular, that Jordan's prison had experienced a significant fire. What's the lesson learned? The simple fact is that Jordan either perished in the turmoil or managed to flee, as Victoria pointed out. We are all aware that Jordan had a slim chance of escaping. To remember how resourceful she can be, one only needs to think back to when she slithered through the vents at the lake house to avoid the authorities. Yes, we are confident that the villain will make a comeback for the February sweeps, and it's not only because Adam said we wouldn't hear from her again. Victoria and Cole will need to choose how to break the news of the jail fire to Claire while she is still in her vulnerable position, or not. According to young and restless teasers, Victoria and Cole will withhold something from Claire, so it's likely that they choose to keep the unsettling revelation to themselves, at least for the time being. The news, no matter how you interpret it, is undoubtedly depressing for Claire. However, holding such a big secret can come back to haunt them. Why? Allow us to clarify. They are attempting to establish confidence first, you don't accomplish that by being silent. Even if Victoria and Cole insist that they were only attempting to protect her, Claire's trust in them may be compromised if she unintentionally learns from another source. Right now, Claire has distorted thinking, so she could not view things the way they do. If all the work they've made is lost, the ramifications of this revelation might be disastrous for Claire and shake Victoria's world. How? Claire wanted her aunt dead, that was the last thing she said to her. The young woman may already be dealing with a lot of troubles, so learning that she may have truly died right after their chat could cause her to feel even more guilty than she already is. Even if Claire doesn't feel very guilty, the news will undoubtedly cause her to experience a wide range of complicated emotions that might be harmful to her recuperation. She may use the fact that she feels no shame at all to support her story of being an unstoppable monster. The worst-case situation, though, would be if Jordan returned to Memorial. Because Victoria and Cole didn't warn Claire of the potential, she would be completely unprepared for it, and depending on how bad things become, she might hold them accountable for whatever occurs next. Once more, losing the relationship development they've achieved would rock Victoria's world. Yes, Victoria and Cole find themselves in a difficult situation— they run the risk of igniting a host of fresh problems for their daughter Claire if they tell her about the prison fire. However, if they keep this explosive information to themselves, it could jeopardize Claire's recuperation and her bond with her adoptive parents, leaving Victoria that she isn't being given up and that she has an open door in London. She would need to move presently despite the fact that the Newman Media branch that doesn't open for one more year. However contacted, Audra is reluctant to leave Gino City since she appreciates living there. She was worried about the possibility that that educating her concerning her dad would prompt Clash and Lemons telling her now, yet she never envisioned that it would bring about her being terminated from the organization. Nikki is resolute that this is an unbelievable opportunity. Furthermore, 
consider the possibility that I say no, asks Audra accordingly. She expects to lose her employment totally. Nikki sees no other decision. Nikki is cautioned by Audra that doing this will be a grave slip up. She ought to avoid undermining Nikki. Audra is communicating uneasiness in light of the fact that, would it be a good idea for her she sent her away, she will not have the option to oversee Newman Media alone, which could endanger her recovery. Yet again Nikki shouts at her for raising the subject. Audra is told to stop going about like she couldn't care less about her or the business. Audra claims that to try not to need to manage the pressure of her sickness, she might want to migrate across the sea. Consider every one individuals you will hurt when you fall, since doing so will make you fall. You leave me no decision except for to let you go. Nikki sniffs. Jack sends Nikki a message outside society, asking about her prosperity. As he enters, he sees Victor at the bar. He stops then, at that point, follows him in. Victor claims he isn't in that frame of mind to talk. He was by all accounts conveying the heaviness of the whole world, says Jack, who offers to tune in. How could he trust in him? Victor ponders. Jack accepts that that is all behind them. He doesn't need the proprietary advantages of Newman undertakings. They interface over pictures of Harrison and recognize that Kyle and Summer are as yet causing them torment. Subsequent to yielding, Victor closes a should share some tequila. Send it to his tab. Jack illuminates Victor that he's hurt his family had injury from hijacking. He caught a frightened Nikki. What was spoken by her from Victor's perspective? Jack figured out how to hear to the point of realizing it was very horrendous. Victor makes sense of that in spite of the fact that it was hard for them all. All that has been settled and the family is secure. Jack is feeling better that he can deal with everything. To that, they raise a toast. Jack recognizes that Victoria left Newman and that she had an undeniably challenging time. Victor consoles him that Nikki and she are both taking care of it. However, it hasn't been basic. He is furnishing them with all the help they require. That is one of only a handful of exceptional things Jack professes to respect about him. As a matter of fact, they hate the test of their opposition. Victor recognizes that there were times when he believed he had tracked down his match in him. They laugh and make another toast. What is it that you truly need to know now that we've had our heart to heart? Ponders Victor. Jack ridicules Victor for apparently having ulterior thought processes. After their difficulty, his main concern is for Nikki and the kids. Victor guarantees that it is a family issue. Jack just asked out of stress, yet he has friendship for them. Victor lets him know that this is the last time they will talk about the matter. Nikki illuminates Audra that she will set up for a significant severance bundle and a positive proposal from HR at Newman Media. Audra accepts that this produces results immediately. That sounds ideal to Nikki, who likewise advises her that she marked her NDA. As Audra leaves, she stops to let Nikki know that it has been a joy working and gaining from her. She is intensely trusting that she can defeat her ailment. At the point when Nikki is without help from anyone else, she removes the jar from the cabinet, returns it, and contacts Jack. Jack sees Victor remaining close to him at society when he answers Nikki's call. He figures out she's at the workplace and requirements him. He professes to be on the way. As Jack leaves, Victor vows to tell Nikki he asked about her. Summer educates Chance regarding her extreme sensitivity to peanuts at the GCAC, and he admits that eating kiwis makes him break out in highs. He asserts he prefers this part of her when she prods him. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.